Hello, Melanie. Oh, good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm good. Excellent. Very good. Welcome to the class, Melanie. Siempre la primera. You're always the first one. <laughs> ya dígale allá, Daniel. Daniel, it's time. <laughs> Para que le avise ya es tiempo, dígale. Okay, we have some more students. We have Carla Sofia. Hello, Carla. Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon, welcome to the class. Thank you. Excellent, happy to have you here. Feliz de tenerlos por acá, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver aquí si Excellent. Ana Yasmin, welcome to the class. How are you? ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo está? How are you doing today? The microphone. No, I cannot hear you. Microphone. No le puedo oír. Está ahí apagado el audio, creo. Bien, teacher. You're good? Excellent, excellent. Bien. Yo feliz, muy feliz, de que ahora tengo más participants que ayer. <laughs> I'm really, really happy. Today I have more participants. Que ayer teníamos, creo, Ana, ¿usted era la que estaba de oyente ayer? No. Sí. Ah, ok. Ana estaba de oyente y tenía luego a Melanie, a Daniel participando. Pero Daniel no se ha conectado ahí todavía, ¿verdad? O sea, esperemos que se conecte en lo que va de la clase. Bueno, uh, to the ones that are new. Hi, my name is Diana. Diana Rodriguez Sayas, but I go by Diana Sayas. You can call me Miss, Miss Diana. Teacher es más como para decir docente, ok? So, menos formal, pero you can call me teacher, está bien. Pero es mejor si decir Miss, ok? Miss, Miss Diana, ok? So, thank you very much for being here. Thank you very much for your puntuality. Porque it's very important that we are punctual to the classes. Now, it is raining. Acá donde yo soy, it's raining raining really bad. It's raining where you live? Is it um, a little, uh, thin. What is it, Carla? Uh, un poquito. A little? Bit. A little bit, a little bit. Okay. A little bit? Yes, a little bit, okay. Okay, <laughs> excellent. What about you, Melanie? Is it raining where you live? Um, igual que Carla, somos vecinos. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> igual hace poquito. Oh, okay, got it, got it, got it. <clears throat> so you all live, um, what is it that you live? In Nejapa. Nejapa, you live in Nejapa. And you work in San Juan Opico. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Yeah. What about you, Ana? Where do you live, Ana? 
Ana Yasmin. Este, eh, son sonata. Oh, son sonata. El lienzo sonata. Okay, okay. Okay, very good. So, thank you very sí. much for that punctuality. De verdad, aprecio esa puntualidad. Voy a volverle a mandar un mensaje a los compañeros. Porque nos falta un par de personas. Ronnie no. dice que se está conectando, pero de oyente. Ronnie Faltan ahí algunos compañeros, ¿verdad? Esperamos que se conecten en lo que va de la clase. Bueno, pasamos rápidamente a de nuevo el inglés. Y si no me entienden cuando estoy hablando en inglés, pueden decirme que repita eso o pueden decirme que hable más despacio. A veces puedo emocionarme y tal vez hablo rápido. No creo porque intento hablar despacio, pero si llegara a ser así, ustedes me dicen, Miss, please, repeat para que yo pueda repetir. Les voy a intentar hacer lo más claro um, el lenguaje, lo más claro que se pueda. Y eh, pero igual cualquier duda ustedes pueden decirme para volver a repetir sin ningún problema. ¿okay? La clase se debe dar en full in English, creo que ya saben eso. Pero este, voy a intentar pues, equilibrarlo. Y si ustedes no me entienden, claro que yo puedo hacer un poco eh, el esfuerzo para que ustedes me comprendan. ¿Ok? Bien, so uh, right now, let me share, voy a compartir eh, pantalla, let me share the screen, so I can show you what we were practicing yesterday. Yesterday, uh, we were talking about the adverse of frequency, okay, like how often, usually, and stuff like that. I'm guessing that you already know about this. Okay, here it is. So this is about the adverse of frequency. The adverse of frequency, we use them to talk about the frequency on how we do something, okay? The frequency, la frecuencia con la que hacemos algo, yes? So we need to go with this and with the adverse of frequency talking about uh, always is something that we do all the time. Usually something we do 90% of the time Often is 70. This is like an approximately, okay? It's an approximado, not, not like for sure that, but around that. Sometimes if we do 50 and 50, so we do it one time, we don't do it one time. So it's we do 50 and 50, okay? Then we have hardly ever, something that we like almost never do. And we have never, right? That means that we never, never do that activity, okay? So these are the arbors of frequency. We also were talking about the, the structure, how to use adverse of frequency because it's different. We use adverse of frequency with all the verbs and we use adverse of frequency with the verb to be, which is different. Look at this. So for all the verbs, we have subject, adverb of frequency, then we have the verb, and then we have the complement. So this sentence will be like, she usually speaks English, okay? Or um, you always talk a lot. Sorry, you guys, sorry about that. Okay, now, so we have this adverse of frequency here. Let me, and, miren, se cumple la regla. So we have subject, we have adverse of frequency, we have the verb, and we have the complement. But with the verb to be, con el verbo to be, is different. Let me show you how. With the verb to be, we have subject, then we have the verb be, ya saben que es am, is, are, right? Then we have the adverb of frequency. Then we have the complement. So the rule is different, okay? In this case, it's different. For example, we can say she is always happy, 
¿ok? ¿Cuál es el verbo de esta oración? Obviously is is, ¿ok? The verb is is. So we have the subject, we have the verb, meaning the action, we have the adverb of frequency, and we have the complement, right? So we have those things there. Now. Okay, so she's always happy. Another one can be they are never late. Ellos nunca llegan tarde, ¿verdad? They are never late. Lo mismo. This is the subject. This is the verb to be. And this is the other frequency. This is the complement. So son dos reglas las que utilizamos. Las que vamos a utilizar, the ones that we're going to use with all the verbs, and the ones that we're going to use with the verb to be. Okay? With the verb to be. Preguntas hasta ahorita? Questions so far? No questions? No? Okay. Bien. Continuamos entonces. Okay, so that is to talk about frequency. Tenemos los adverbios de frecuencia, pero también tenemos phrases. Phrases to talk about frequency. For example, how do you say in English semanalmente? ¿Cómo diría en inglés semanalmente? <laughs> Weekly. Okay, so esas frases vamos a aprender. We're going to learn those phrases. Yo creo que algunos sí lo sabían, pero tuvieron miedo. They, they, you, were, you were scared. Okay, so... Espérenme, déjenme un segundo. Okay, so now... Let's see like this. We have things that we do every day. Day things we do for a week, things we do for the month, things we do for the year, okay? Now, for these ones, hay diferentes formas de decirlo. Como diariamente, in that case, we're gonna say daily, semanalmente, weekly, mensualmente, monthly y anualmente yearly, ok ese li al final ok es mente, ok siempre ese li al final de las palabras que mean mente, mente, ok so weekly yearly daily, diariamente weekly, eh, semanalmente monthly, mensualmente yearly, anualmente, ok so now También tenemos otra forma de decirlo. We also have another way of saying this. Let me... Instead of that, now we're going to say every at the beginning. Every day, every week, every month, and every year. Now, in this case, ya no estamos diciendo semanalmente, ni diariamente, ni mensualmente, ¿ok? ¿Alguien sabe qué estamos diciendo? Do you know what this means? Every, la palabra every. Es como todo. Todos los días, todos los días toda la semana, todos los meses o todo el mes, todo el año. Ok, excelente. Yes, 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 that is correct. So, todos los días, todas las semanas, todos los meses, todos los años. Or, you can say cada día, cada semana, ¿verdad? También, cada mes, cada año, every. Pero for that, también tenemos otro, ¿ok? Let me... Dice Ana Yasmin que está lloviendo fuerte. Le voy a hablar así fuerte a... <laughs> para que me oiga. <laughs> Porque, yes, I know, it's raining. Acá también está lloviendo. Ok, so... Vamos a ir con el otro. We're going to do the next one. Now we're going to use each. Now each means cada, right? Each day. 
each week, each month, and each year. Okay? So all these phrases, las tres frases así, son para hablar de periodos de tiempo. Y también podemos usarlas como adverbios de frecuencia. Por ejemplo, si yo digo every day, eso es always, right? Now, también tenemos otra frase that we can say every other. Let me show you. Ah, denme un segundo. I'm sorry, you guys, pero tengo un problema con la lluvia. <ríe> Me da muchas alergias, así que lo siento por estarles pausando la clase. I'm sorry, ¿ok? Bueno, continuamos. We're going to continue. Now, <coughs> we have the phrase every other. ¿Ok? Esta frase de every other is very useful, muy útil. Les explico cómo. Yo la puedo unir con cualquiera de esos de acá y va a significar For example, if I say every other day, means un día sí, un día no, okay? So for example, if I say every other week, ¿qué creen que significaría? Do you, what do you think is the meaning of every other week? Como una semana sí, una no también, Correct. o algo así. Very good. Muy bien. Carla, yes, the same. So every time that I use every other means one time yes, one time no. Okay? Like una semana de por medio, un día de por medio. You can say that in Spanish. Right? So every other day, every other week, every other month, and every other year. You can say it like that. Okay? Now, but with these phrases, para las oraciones lo vamos a usar diferente. No van a ir en medio de la oración, sino que pueden ir al inicio o al final. Por ejemplo, every day I take a shower. Okay. O I take a shower every day. Ok. Es diferente porque en el otro iban en medio, ¿recuerdan? Like después del verbo to be o antes de los otros verbos. So, pero con las frases va a ser así, at the beginning or at the end. ¿Estamos claros hasta ahorita? ¿Todo? ¿Everything clear? Y miren como que sus compañeros no se quieren conectar. Oh my God, but it's happening. <coughs> Espero que lo que va de la clase se me conecten algunos más. Para la próxima semana también, ¿verdad? Queremos. That was very important. Ok. ¿Puedo quitar la pantalla? ¿Me van a tomar un screenshot o tomarle foto? <coughs> oh my God. Ok. Let's continue. Ok. That's for... Uh, phrases of frequency, right? Vamos a hablar de frases de frecuencia. Now, in the last class, we had the opportunity to practice a tongue twister. En la clase pasada practicamos un tongue twister. ¿Qué es un tongue twister? Melanie, what is a tongue twister? Un trabalengua. Correct. So, this yeah. class we're going to practice a trabalenguas in English. So we 
speak better English, okay? So let me show you the tongue twister. Les decía, para ir al gimnasio, vamos a bajar de peso, hacemos varias repeticiones. Para hablar inglés y hablarlo bien, tenemos que hacer varias repeticiones del English y que nos va a ayudar más canciones. Pero por la virtualidad no podemos ir con canciones, así que vamos a ir con Don Twisters. Aquí ya estamos aplicando la reduction de la letra S, la reducción de la letra S al inicio de las palabras. O sea, de que no digamos scream, sino que scream, scream. Porque si yo digo scream, es como que estoy añadiendo una letra K que no existe, no hay una E, solo es el sonido de la S. ¿Escuchen? Scream, scream. Entonces todo junto diría, I scream, you scream, y uno, you, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. I scream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. I scream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. I scream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. I scream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream, ¿ok? Y el reto es de intentar decirlo cinco veces seguidas. Les voy a dar un minu unos minutitos para que lo practiquen ahí ustedes. Quiero verles practicando. No tienen que activar el audio. You don't have to uh, turn on the audio. Y después de los five minutes, voy a pedirle a alguien que me ayude con la pronunciación, ¿ok? ¿Se entiende la actividad? Do we understand? Yep. Ok, five minutes. Mientras más practico es mejor. No hay que imaginarse que uno practica. Hay que practicar, ¿ok? Entonces quedan three more minutes. Three. One more minute y elijo a alguien para participar. One more minute.
Ok, drum roll, redoble de tambores. Vamos a ver quién es la elegida. Yo, I think, a ver, ¿quién lo hace voluntarily? Si no, yo elijo. Mausocráticamente, que el mouse elija. <laughs> no. Voluntary to the one, voluntary to the two, voluntary to the three. Okay. So I choose Carla Sofía. Carla, are you ready? No sé por qué ya lo sabía que a mí me iba. <laughs> Vaya, ya ven, presentimiento. I scream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Okay. Intenté decirlo five times in a row, cinco veces seguida. I scream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. I scream, you scream, we all scream for ice for ice cream. I scream, you scream, we all scream, scream for ice cream. I scream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. One more time. I scream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Excellent, good job, and applause for the classmate. Ooh, very good. So now we're gonna go with Anna, Anna Yasmin. Yo. Yeah. Okay. Es que casi no la escucho porque está viendo tan fuerte. Oh, okay. Okay. I scream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. I scream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. I scream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. I scream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. I scream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Okay, ¿puede repetir las primeras dos palabras? Estas dos. ¿Cómo? ¿Puede repetir esas dos palabras, por favor? Ice cream. Okay, dígalo así, solo con el sonido de la S. Ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream. Excellent, good job. Thank you very much. Ok. Melanie, la vamos a salvar este día porque el día de ayer le tocó decirlo un montón de veces. <laughs> el día de ayer sí le tocó a Melanie a lot of times. So, excellent, good job. Ok, so with this one, remember lo que estamos haciendo es traducción de la letter E. Decimos ice cream. No, ice cream. ¿verdad? El ice cream está de más. Ice, ice cream. You scream. We all scream for ice cream. ¿Por qué? Because a lot of words like escuela in English is school, right? We don't say e school. Mm -mm, that is incorrect. E school, no. School, school, school. Estudiante, student, no. Student, student. Okay? That is the correct form. Student, short form. Cortando eso. Ahora, con la letra R. With the letter R, se queda arriba, como que lo pronunciara aquí en el palabra R, R, R. For example, in Spanish is carro, carro, but in English is car, car, car. Arriba, okay? Up. Don't hear up. Car. So that's what we're practicing. Scream, scream. Yo lo digo así a lo español, voy a decir scream, scream. Se oye bien Sofía Vergara. ¿Ya han escuchado a Sofía Vergara hablar inglés? So, scream, right? But we need to do scream, scream, ¿ok? A ella le pagan por hablar así a nosotros, ¿ok? So we better do it right, porque lo hagamos bien, ¿ok? Excellent. So let's continue here with the class. And I'm gonna teach you some useful phrases. Les voy a enseñar unas frases eh, útiles, useful phrases. Look at this. Okay, there. How do you say es pan comido o está bien chicha al buen salvadoreño in English? How do you say that in English? Easy peasy. Easy peasy, <laughs> that can be one. Melanie? It's bread. Pit. Bread pit. <laughs> piece of bread. No, look. It's a piece of cake. Parte de easy peasy, puedes decir piece of cake. Right? Piece of cake. 
Si le dicen, ¿y vos podés manejar moto? Piece of cake, which is the super fast. Y usted puede cocinar piece of cake, right? So, fácil. Instead of saying, it's very easy, es correcto, se oye más natural decir, piece of cake, okay? It's a piece of cake. Now, next one. Instead, don't say, no diga esto, mejor diga esto. This is lo que voy a hacer con ustedes para que ustedes lo entiendan un poco más natural, natural, okay? Hi, how are you? I'm good, and you? Okay, this is good, pero se oye muy como practicado. Mejor diga, hey, how's it going? Hey, ¿qué onda? ¿Cómo te va? Right? Hey, how's it going? Todo unido, how is it going? Can't complain. This is, eh, no me quejo. What about you? Teacher, se le oye suavecito. No puede hablar un poquito más fuerte. Tengo a todo volumen mi la compu, pero no, no escucho casi. Espérenme, tal vez es la posición de mi micrófono. ¿Y ahora? Ya se escucha un poco mejor. Espérenme, voy a, poner, voy a posicionar bien el micrófono. Que a veces está muy abajo. ¿Y ahora? Oh, ahora sí, dicho. Sí, ahora sí. Gracias. Ah, vaya, ok. Bien, excelente. Thank you. Ok, bien. <ríe> Avísenme esas cosas que a veces soy yo. Si alguien me escucha abajo, si me escuchan varios bajos, es porque soy, soy yo el problema, ¿ok? Pero ahora bien, ¿estamos bien? ¿All good? Excellent, very good. Ok, so les decía, en lugar de decir esto, que se oye bien practicado, yes, digamos esto, más natural. Hi, how are you? I'm good and you. No, mejor digamos, hey, how's it going? How's it going? Como, hey, ¿qué onda? ¿Cómo te va? Right? Hey, how's it going? Le digo, can't complain, no me quejo, no me puedo quejar, ¿verdad? Can't complain. What about you? ¿Y qué hay sobre vos? ¿O qué onda? ¿Y vos qué ondas? Hey, es mejor decir esto, soy un poquito más natural. So, pueden decir esto. Yes, you can say it. It's correct. But, podemos variar de vez en cuando con esto para que no nos oigamos todo el tiempo. Hola, ¿cómo estás? Muy bien. ¿Y tú? Right. En en Spanish. Oh, ¿Qué onda? ¿Cómo te ha ido? Ah, por ahí no me puedo quejar. ¿Y vos qué tal? Right. So, hey, how is it going? Can't complain. What about you? Right. Y así nos sale un poco más natural when speaking. Bien. Now, we're going to talk a little bit about the simple past. Vamos a hablar del pasado simple, the simple past. This is a topic that is not new for you. Okay? It is not a new topic. So, this topic is about events that happened in the past, the simple past. So you can read here, the simple past is a verb tense that is used to talk about things that happened or existed before now. Cosas que pasaron o existieron antes de ahora. So let me show you the structure the simple past. Okay, here we go. So we're going to talk about the simple past. Okay. So I'm going to get my pack aquí arriba, over here, up there. Okay. So in the simple past, we have three structures. We have subject plus verb in the past. We have complement. Okay. So for example, I talked to her, she worked yesterday, they saw a, so, uh, pretty girl. And say he did his homework. Okay? Todo esto es hablar de simple past. Okay? In this part, we're talking about the simple past. So, what is telling me that that is a simple past? ¿Quién me dice que es un past? The verb, un verbo, is in the past. Okay? So, we obviously, el present, the talked, is talk, without the ed. The worked is work without the ed, 
the C is so, and the do is the. So this is the simple pass for every one, every of these verbs, each verb, each verb. This is the simple past. Well, now, what about, ¿qué tal si yo quiero hacer esto negative? Okay. There is only one thing that I'm going to use for the negative part. For the negative, I'm going to use an auxiliary. Do you know what is the auxiliary? ¿Saben cuál es el auxiliary? Bid. Exactly, bid. Pero como lo vamos a usar también abreviado, podemos decir... Después pongo the verb y aquí si el verbo va en su forma presente. ¿Por qué? Porque ya no lo pongo en pasado. Can you tell me? For example, first one sería I didn't talk to her. Talk to her. I didn't talk to her. ¿Ven el verbo? Yo lo escribo en presente. ¿Por qué? Why? El auxiliar. Exactly. The auxiliary is in the past. Y el auxiliar me da el pasado. ¿Ok? Y ya no lo necesito repetir yo. Hagamos el otro. I didn't. Oh, she. Yes, I'm sorry. It's she. She. Didn't work. Yes. ¿Qué cambia acá? Obviously, the verb is in the simple past. Hagan ustedes las otras dos en simple past negative y me las mandan aquí al chat. Nada más que al enviarlas al chat, elijan solo enviarlo en inglés corporativo para que yo solo puedo ver las, las sentences. Okay? Send it. Les espero. Acá lo envían al chat de Zoom, please. The last two, okay? They saw a pretty bird and he did his homework. You're going to send them negative in the Zoom chat.
Don't forget que estamos utilizando auxiliaries, ¿ok? Tiren, pasar. Ok, let's see. Veo ahí una nada más Carla que envió sus sentences. Ok. Vamos a ver ahora. Y sana de Melanie. Ok, excelente. Didn't. Recuerden que es con didn't. Ok. Bien. Vamos a hacer una práctica un poco rápida. We're going to do a practice really fast and really quick. Really enfatizar vaya ustedes van a poder escribir en esta pizarra ya lo van a ver segundo Ok, so, ¿qué vamos a crear? Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Texto. Y vamos a hacer una lista de actividades que hicimos ayer. No van a ser cinco actividades por lo menos. Ahí veo que Melanie está navegando en la pizarra. Me parece que. Ok, so, voy a poner yo todas las actividades que hice ayer. I woke up. Me levanté. I woke up at. 8 a.m. Si me pasé, ¿verdad? Me levanté a las 8. Qué ventaja. Ok. <laughs> I woke up at 8 a.m. I cleaned my house. I um, work in the afternoon. I went to a birthday party and I watch my TV series at night. Ok, esas son las actividades que hice ayer. Son 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5. Y ustedes van a hacer aquí a la, aquí a la par, pueden escribir otras, otras eh, actividades. Ok. Ustedes van a escribir las suyas acá. Intenten escribir en la pizarra, a ver si lo sé. Pueden darle el texto. Ahí, ahí les dice el texto. Le va a aparecer una opción de texto, le va a aparecer una T. Si no me equivoco, aquí a la orillita le va a aparecer. Ahí veo que andan navegando Carla, Melanie, aparecen ahí navegando en la pizarra. Denle clic ahí o, o, o tap para ver si les deja escribir. Pero aquí, si no, aquí a la izquierda le van a aparecer unas opciones. Se lo voy a mandar al chat para que lo tengan. Voy a aparecer. Le va a aparecer esto aquí así. Ustedes van a irse a texto y van a darle clic. Ahí está, Carla Sofía, parece que ella escribió una I ahí. Uy, me hicieron una línea. <ríe> Vaya, ahí les mandé a WhatsApp un mensaje para que vean cómo hacerlo. Uy, ahí como Carla Sofía, como que se le atravesó una letra que no era. Vaya, 
ahí pueden empezar a escribir. Miren, excelente. Le vamos a poner tiempo a esta pizarra. Le vamos a poner six minutitos. Okay, ahí está la pizarra, tengo un timer. Ya regreso, voy a tomarme una pastilla por esta alergia. Para mientras ustedes terminan de investigar. Ok, ok, ok. Ahí me parece Melanie. Carla Sofía. Ana Jasmín, me falta ahí. Si no puede escribirlo ahí, lo puede mandar al chat. Perdón. <ríe> Ana, si no puede mandarlo al chat. Es ok. Y che, tengo un problema, se me olvidó cómo se escribe breakfast, desayuno creo que Breakfast Ajá, es B-R-E-A-K-F-A-S-T Ok, thank you yeah. Breakfast Miss, ¿cómo se escribe cementerio? Cemetery, inglés. así como se escucha cementerio pero why at the end, cemetery. Gracias. Ok, you're welcome. We have one minute, 20 seconds.
actividades que ustedes hicieron. Bien, aquí tenemos las actividades de... Vamos a leer las actividades de Carla. Says, I watch TV. I ate breakfast. Arreglarle aquí. Un palabrito de breakfast. Okay, I watch TV, I ate breakfast, okay, breakfast, I drank coffee, mm, that's always, right, we always drink coffee, coffee is good, <laughs> okay, excellent, and I read a book, okay, esa palabra es muy importante, eh, that I read a book, okay, porque eh, se escribe igual, la palabra es read, verdad, pero se pronuncia diferente, el pasado es read, I paid, paid de pagar o played. Creo que llevaba la L, ¿verdad? Yes. Played era. Ah, ok. I played FIFA with my son. Ok, excellent. And the next one says... I went to the cemetery. Cemetery. Solo vamos a quitarle la N. Cemetery, okay? Cemetery. And I didn't receive English class. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. <laughs> no la vi por aquí. Yeah, that's true. Yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. Yes, I didn't see you. Okay. Vamos a leer las de Melanie. I watch my anime favorite at night. My favorite anime. Okay. A contar las palabras. Arreglarle aquí. My favorite anime at night. I worked uh, the last week. Eran actividades de ayer igual, ¿verdad? I didn't. Aquí nos hace falta el verbo do. Yo no hice mi tarea. I y la I siempre es mayúscula. I didn't do my homework. I didn't eat my breakfast. Y aquí tenemos one, two, three, four. He drive a motorcycle. He went to the park. Pero como estamos hablando de actividades suyas, vamos a hacer que usted va a decir I had, porque no todas tenían que ser tiran, but I had my English class. Yo tuve mi clase de inglés, porque yo aquí sí la vi a Melanie. So I had my English class, ¿verdad? Ana Yasmin no pudo ahí, ¿Tuvo, tuvo problema en la pizarra. Sí, pero lo estoy escribiendo en el chat. Ah, ok. Bueno, ahí se lo reviso cuando las mando. Ok. Yes, good job. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete. Me hizo Carla. Ok. You had a busy day yesterday. One, two, three. Well, she did more. Usted hizo más, pero estamos hablando de activities that about me, right? Activities I did. Activities that I did in the past. Ok. Now. Here I have activities. I didn't do my homework and I didn't eat my breakfast. Ayer yo no comí desayuno. No, creo que se comió su desayuno, Melanie, porque, my God, breakfast is the most important food in the, in the, in the, year, in the day. ¿Han escuchado ustedes que el breakfast es la comida más importante? Por lo menos un cafecito con pan, a coffee with sweet bread. Right? And that, that's, that's amazing. No sé qué opciones se pueden hacer en estas pizarras. Comments. Puedo ponerles comentarios. Puedo hacer, puedo hacer muchas cosas. Puedo hacer un mapa mental. Puedo poner cartas, tablas, table. Oh my God, this is so much fun. Muchas cosas que se pueden hacer aquí. Ok, amazing, excellent. So I'm going to stop sharing this board.
Voy a finalizar la pizarra. Ok, there we go. Excellent. And we're going to continue. But now, we're going to do a different activity. I'm going to send you a link and you have to work on the link that I'm going to send you, okay? Just wait a moment. Like yesterday. Teacher, es I I made a breakfast. Made breakfast, okay, de hacer madera. <laughs> okay. I woke up. Se me olvidó quitar el corrector. Okay, es I wake up. I went to buy, I made breakfast, I watched TV, I don't remember, siempre recuerdo escribir el aire, and I made lunch. Good job. Bien, le voy a enseñar la actividad, I'm going to show you the activity we're going to do in this moment, and let me, le voy a mandar un link también, pero le voy a explicar primero cómo. Ok, the first aquí, miren. Dice pasar los verbos al pasado. So, for example, stay in the past is stayed. Stay. Okay. Rain is rain. Help is helped. Helped. Okay, like that. Now, aquí lo que vamos a hacer es poner estos en el pasado también. I stayed. She worked. ¿Sí? Cuando terminamos, le dan clic en finish, comprobar mis respuestas, y ahí le va a aparecer mi. ¿Ya? Yeah. ¿Me entienden cómo es la actividad? ¿Tú y Gara? Y sí. I think it's an easy activity. Les voy a mandar el link. I'm going to send you the link. Ok, ahí está el link. Pueden ingresar. Seven minutes. Look, stop what?
cuando terminen, when you finished, solo envían la captura de lo que ya aparece. Y ahí nos quedan 2 minutos y 30 segundos. Ya tengo el live de ver imagen de Melanie. Ok. Ana Sofía, too. Excellent. Ok, solo queda one minute, solo falta un participant. Okay, three seconds, two, one, zero. Okay, good job. Bien, thank you very much for your participations. Now we're gonna continue with the simple past, okay? Let me... Este manual. We have a conversation. Did you do anything with your 
God. Listen to the conversation. Write down all the verbs in the past. You Hi to all. Welcome to Section 7. We had a great time. In this session, participants will listen to a conversation between two people and the activities they did last weekend. This conversation will walk us through activities that took place in the past. I really need you to concentrate as we'll begin to study simple past. As you listen to the conversation, write down all the verbs in the past you can identify. Did you do anything special? So, what did you do last weekend, Meg? Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. That sounds like fun. Did you go to Lucky's? <laughs> no, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home and studied for today's Spanish test. Our Spanish test is today? I forgot all about that. Don't worry. You always get an A. Hi to all. Welcome to Section 7. We had a great time. In this session, participants will listen to a conversation between two people and the activities they did last weekend. This conversation will walk us through activities that took place in the past. I really need you to concentrate as we'll begin to study simple past. As you listen to the conversation, write down all the verbs in the past you can identify. Did you do anything special? So, what did you do last weekend, Meg? Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. That sounds like fun. Did you go to Lucky's? No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home and studied for today's Spanish test. Our Spanish test is today? I forgot all about that. Don't worry. You always get an A. Okay, just one more time. Y luego lo leen con... Weekend. This conversation will walk us through activities that took place in the past. I really need you to concentrate as we'll begin to study simple past. As you listen to the conversation, write down all the verbs in the past you can identify. Did you do anything special? So, what did you do last weekend, Meg? Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. That sounds like fun. Did you go to Lucky's? No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home and studied for today's Spanish test. Our Spanish test is today? I forgot all about that. Don't worry. You always get an A. Okay, now we practice together. together. No, we didn't. Identify. Okay. So, en lo que yo la leo, ustedes identifiquen los verbos en pasado que les voy a preguntar cuáles son. What verbs can you see in the past? Okay. So, what did you do last weekend, Matt? Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. That sounds like fun. Did you go to Lockie's? No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home and studied for today's Spanish test. Our Spanish test is today. I forgot all about that. Don't worry, you always get an A. Okay, one more time, repeat it. If you have questions about pronunciation or meanings, pueden preguntarme. You can ask me. So, what did you do last weekend, Meg? Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. That sounds like fun. Did you go to Lucky's? No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home 
and study for today's Spanish test. Our Spanish test is today. I forgot all about that. Don't worry, you always get an A. Do you need me to repeat the pronunciation that tells you some meanings? Les voy a mandar pronunciación aquí al WhatsApp chat si les gusta de practica. So, what did you do last weekend, Mel? Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends Saturday. That sounds like fun. Did you go to Lockies? No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all week. I just stayed home and studied for today's Spanish test. Our Spanish test is today. I forgot all about that. Don't worry, you always get an A. Ahí les mando el audio de la conversation. Si quieren captura de la conversation, también se los puedo enviar. Wait a moment. Right, yeah, let's go. Okay. So what are we going to do now? Les voy a dar five minutes para que la practiquen. Ustedes ahí solitos, pronunciation and stuff. En lo que eh, practican, luego vamos a venir acá y vamos a practicar. Les voy a poner un cronómetro. Five minutes. Dos a ver. que practiquen, los quiero ver practicing. Ok, estamos practicing. Le voy a Carla practicing, ok, los demás también practiquemos, please.
less than two minutes. Uy, este fue nada más fuerte, oh my goodness. Tengo que quedar sorda. <ríe> ok, vamos a ir a la práctica. We're going to go to the practice. Yo lo voy a leer una vez más. I'm going to read it just one more time. And then you va a tener cada quien una oportunidad de leerlo. Y después vamos a hacerlo en parejas. Ok. Sorry, ahí está. So. What did you do last weekend, Meg? Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. That sounds like fun. Did you go to Lockies? No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home and studied for today's Spanish test. Our Spanish test is today. I forgot all about that. Don't worry, you always get an A. Okay, muy bien. Entonces vamos ahora a empezar. Lo van a leer todo, okay? All the, the conversation. Y después vamos a ir en parejas. But first we go with Ana Jasmine. Read all the conversation. Okay, so what did you last weekend, Meg? Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. That sounds like fun. Did you go to Lucky's? No, we didn't. We went to what new place downtown. How about you? Did you new? Did you a new anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere. All a weekend, I just stay home and studied studied for two days. Spanish test or Spanish test is today. I forget. I forgot all about you. Don't worry. You always get an A. Ok, excelente. No puse la compañera. Excelente, Ana. Good job, good job. Ok. Now, vamos a hacer un par de correcciones. Porque siempre hay que hacer eso, ¿verdad? Aquí, do. Great. That. Downtown. Downtown. How about. Eso todo junto lo vamos a leer, ok. How about you? How about you? Go. Forgot. Forgot that that Melanie, your turn. So, what did you last weekend make? 
Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. That sounds like fun. Did you go to Lucky's? No, we didn't. We went to that new place, downtown. How, how about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere. A weekend, I just studied home and study for today. Spanish test. Our Spanish test is today. I forgot all about that. Don't worry. You always get an A. Excellent. Good job. Un aplauso a la classmate. Good job. Excellent. Bien, vamos a hacer correctment. Do. Ok, eso es cierto que me dicen what did you last weekend. Y es what did you do. You do. You do. Ok. What did you do? Karaoke. Karaoke. Go. About. How about you? How about you? Did you go? Studied. Sta. Sta. The U sounds like an A. Sta. Studied. Forgot about that. Forgot about that. Okay, excellent, but good job. Carla Sofia, your turn. Tengo miedo. It's okay, it's okay. <laughs> so, what did you do last weekend, Meg? Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. That sound that sound like fun. Did you go to Loki's? No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home and studied for today's Spanish test. Our Spanish test is today. I forgot all about that. Don't worry, you always get an A. Excellent, good job. And applause for the classmate. Good job. Okay, veamos. Speed corrections. Karaoke, right? Karaoke. And forgot. Forgot. Tranquila, no me. No, 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 no se ponga así toda. Ya la vi que se me estaba. Oh my God. No, it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> Las corrections son para eso, ¿verdad? Para aprender. Pero good job, good job. You did a good job. Bien, vamos ahora con partners. Vamos a ir Ana, Jasmine con Melanie. Ana, you start. Hola, Melanie. Hola, Ana. What did you do last weekend, Meg? Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. That sounds like fun. Did you go to Lucky's? No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown for a bar, a bar, a bar. Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere, anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home and studied for today's Spanish test. Our Spanish test is today. I forgot all about that. Don't worry, you always get an A. Excellent. Good job, good job, good job. Okay, vamos a hacer un par de corrections. Had, had, con A, ¿verdad? Had, no, had. How about, how about, how about you? How about you? And about that, about that. Okay. Now vamos a ir con Melanie and Carla. Melanie me va a ayudar con Carla y luego Carla va a volver a participar con Ana. Así todos participamos twice, dos veces, ¿ok? So, Melanie and Carla, eh, Melanie, you start this time. So, what did you last weekend, Meg? Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar 
and sang with some with friends on Saturday. Some song like fun, did you do? Two lookies. No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere on weekend. I just study home and study for today Spanish test. Our Spanish test is today. I forgot all about that. I forgot. Don't worry. You always get an A. Excellent. Good job. Vamos a ir acá. So corrections. Do. Siento que se me están comiendo este do. What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? Friends. Me hizo falta la S. Friends. Did you go? Just stayed. Just stayed. And remember, the U in study, meant, it sounds like an A. St studied. Studied. Okay, now we go Carla Sofia with Anna Jasmine. Carla, you start. So, what did you do last weekend, Meg? Oh, I had a great time. I went to karaoke bar and San Witson, San Witson friends on Saturday. That sounds like fun. Did you go to Lucky's? No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home and studied for today's Spanish test. Our Spanish test is today. It's forgot all about that. All about that. Don't worry. You, El, you always get an A. Excellent. Good job. Excellent. Applause for everyone. Also, a few corrections. Great. Great. Saturday. Great. Saturday. Y ay. Aquí me dijeron y. Yo creo que fueron los nervios. I think you were nervous. That's the reason. Okay. <laughs> but you see, uh, the more we practice, this, the better we're getting at it. Lo más, mientras más practicamos, mejor nos volvemos en eso. Okay. And that's what English does. If you practice, you're going to get really good at it. Okay. If you practice. But if you don't practice, then you're not going to get good at it. Okay, so the more we practice, the better we're going to be. Okay, mientras más practicamos, mejor vamos a hacer. Okay, now we're going to listen to another conversation that we have there in the manual. Well, but first we're going to listen to a video about the past. Let me show you the video. In this session, simple past questions and answers will be introduced. Irregular and regular verbs will also be taught. Welcome back. So now it's time to study past tense. For us to succeed learning it, we need to learn verbs in simple past. We'll teach you how to make questions and how to answer in both affirmative and negative form. Please pay attention. Simple past. Did you work on Saturday? Yes, I did. I worked all day. No, I didn't. I didn't work at all. Did you go anywhere last weekend? Yes, I did. I went to the movies. No, I didn't. I didn't go anywhere. What did Rick do on Saturday? He stayed home and studied for a test. How did Meg spend her weekend? She went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends. Let's talk about questions in simple past. Did you realize the auxiliary we used? Did. We use auxiliary did for questions and short answers, positive and negative. Did you realize what happened to the question after we used did? See the next example. Did you go to the beach? Did he break the window? In each question, the verb is used in simple present because we use did. It is not correct to say, did you went to the beach? Did he broke the window? So remember, 
every time you ask a question in simple past, you need to use the auxiliary did, and the main verb goes back to present. For short answers in affirmative and negative in simple past, we must use did within the answer as we saw on the chart. Yes, I did. No, I didn't. This takes us to say that we use verbs in simple past when we say affirmative sentences. Take a look at the following statements. They went to the park last weekend. I woke up late this morning. She came late to class. I suggest for you to study and learn verbs in simple past for you to express past activities and experiences. Okay. In this session, see. Wait, wait, wait. We're going to listen to it one more time and then I'm going to explain it to you, okay? Step by step. Listen, pay attention, porque les voy a hacer questions. I'm going to make ask you questions. People pass, questions and answers will be introduced. Irregular and regular verbs will also be taught. Welcome back. So now it's time to study past tense. For us to succeed learning it, we need to learn verbs in simple past. We'll teach you how to make questions and how to answer in both affirmative and negative form. Please pay attention. Simple past. Did you work on Saturday? Yes, I did. I worked all day. No, I didn't. I didn't work at all. Did you go anywhere last weekend? Yes, I did. I went to the movies. No, I didn't. I didn't go anywhere. What did Rick do on Saturday? He stayed home and studied for a test. How did Meg spend her weekend? She went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends. Let's talk about questions in simple past. Did you realize the auxiliary we used? Did. We use auxiliary did for questions and short answers, positive and negative. Did you realize what happened to the question after we used did? See the next example. Did you go to the beach? Did he break the window? In each question, the verb is used in simple present because we use did. It is not correct to say, did you went to the beach? Did he broke the window? So remember, every time you ask a question in simple past, you need to use the auxiliary did and the main verb goes back to present. For short answers in affirmative and negative in simple past, we must use did within the answer as we saw on the chart. Yes, I did. No, I didn't. This takes us to say that we use verbs in simple past when we say affirmative sentences. Take a look at the following statements. They went to the park last weekend. I woke up late this morning. She came late to class. I suggest for you to study and learn verbs in simple past for you to express past activities and experiences. Okay, so basically, lo que ya explicábamos, ¿verdad? How we use the auxiliary and how we use uh, how we use it for negatives. Now, well, we're going to go with this again, but also we're going to go with questions because I didn't explain questions to you. Let me... Okay, so this one was they didn't see a pretty bird. Next one. He didn't, and this one is fun because the auxiliary is the same verb. <laughs> he didn't do his homework. Now, for questions, ¿qué dijo que hacíamos para las preguntas? What is different? ¿Qué es lo diferente? Estaban las de short answer, de yes and no question, y estaban las de WH question. Ok, hagamos las simple, las simple, las cerradas. ¿Con qué empiezan? How do we start it? El auxiliar. Exactly, the auxiliary did. Then we write the subject. Then we write the verb in the present, right? In the present, not in the past anymore. And we write a complement, and then we write a question mark. So the question in this case will be, did, I'm sorry, did I talk to Rick? 
to her? Did I talk to her? Tenemos dos posibles respuestas. Yes, you did. No, you didn't. Right? ¿Verdad? Que estas otras son las dos respuestas. Yes, you did. No, you didn't. ¿Ok? So, vamos a ponerlas aquí. Yes, you did. Respondemos con auxiliar también. O, no, you didn't. ¿Ok? Hacemos la siguiente. Dice, did she, y el verbo en presente normal, did she work yesterday? Dos posibles respuestas. Yes, she did. O el negativo que sería no. She didn't. No, sorry. Váganme las otras ustedes con su respectiva pregunta y respuesta. Así como las he hecho yo estas dos, ustedes hagan las otras dos. Ok. Thank you. Ahí les espero, Ana, Melanie, Carla. Yo sé si es el ejemplo de eh, Siempre en el chat. Oh, ya, yeah, en el chat. Oh, aquí, en el... aquí no se puede, en la pizarra no se puede en esta. Pero aquí háganlo. No, por eso le preguntaba, porque yo la hago en el cuaderno y luego la... Ah, sí, en el Zoom chat. En el chat de Zoom me lo mandan. Ah, okay. ok. Ok. You. Ok, remember enviármelo en privado, ok. Ahí donde dice enviar a, póngale enviar solo inglés corporativo. Y yes.
Okay, estoy esperándoles. I'm waiting for you. Excellent. Good job, Carla. Okay, good job. <laughs> Ana and Melanie, good job. Pero también era arreglar estas de acá, ¿verdad? Entonces, ¿cómo quedarían las de acá? Did they see a pretty bird? ¿verdad? Did they see a pretty bird? Y las respuestas tenemos, yes, they did. O, no, they didn't. Luego tenemos la siguiente. Uh, did he do his homework? Yes, he did. O, no, he didn't. That's it. As easy, as simple as that. Now, in the last part, and this is the last activity we're going to do uh, for today's class, is we're going to practice a last conversation, and that we finish. Miren, ya vamos a terminar only nine minutes, and then para que vayan a disfrutar el resto de su domingo, right? So you can enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Let's see. Participants will have a chance to listen to a conversation with Pastor B if used. Hi to all, welcome to this session. We'll continue talking about simple past, but now I want you to find out the simple past of B. Listen to the conversation and figure it out. Don't miss next class where I'll explain the past of B. Let's listen. Hi Don, how was your vacation? It was excellent. I went to Hawaii with my cousin. We had a great time. Lucky you. How long were you there? About a week. Fantastic. Was the weather okay? Not really. It was cloudy most of the time. But we went surfing every day. The waves were amazing. So what was the best thing about the trip? Well, something incredible happened. You won't believe it. Sorry, I'm going to one more time. Hi to all, welcome to this session. We'll continue talking about simple past, but now I want you to find out the simple past of B. Listen to the conversation and figure it out. Don't miss next class where I'll explain the past of B. Let's listen. Hi Don, how was your vacation? It was excellent. I went to Hawaii with my cousin. We had a great time. Lucky you. How long were you there? About a week. Fantastic. Was the weather okay? Not really. It was cloudy most of the time. But we went surfing every day. The waves were amazing. So what was the best thing about the trip? Well, something incredible happened. You won't believe it. Okay, this time I'm going to read it for Hi you. Hi to all. Welcome to this session. Now, I want you to find out the same. Hi, Don. Okay. Hi, Don. How was your vacation? It was excellent. I went to Hawaii with my cousin. We had a great 
fine. Lucky you. How long were you there? About a week. Fantastic. Was the weather okay? Not really. It was cloudy most of the time. But we went surfing every day. The waves were amazing. So, what was the best thing about the trip? Well, something incredible happened. You won't believe it. Do you know the meaning of trip? ¿Saben qué significa trip? Como viaje. Exactly. Thank you, Carla. Yeah, it's a viaje. Noun, ¿verdad? Como nombre, viaje. Hey, listen one more time. Hi, Don. How was your vacation? It was excellent. I went to Hawaii with my cousin. We had a great time. Lucky you. How long were you there? About a week. Fantastic. Was the weather okay? Not really. It was cloudy most of the time, but we went surfing every day. The waves were amazing. So, what was the best thing about the trip? Well, something incredible happened. You won't believe it. Okay, les voy a mandar un audio para que puedan practicar. Hi, Don. How was your vacation? It was excellent. I went to Hawaii with my cousin. We had a great time. Lucky you. How long were you there? About a week. Fantastic. Was the weather okay? Not really. It was cloudy most of the time, but we went surfing every day. The waves were amazing. So, what was the best thing about the trip? Well, something incredible happened. You won't believe it. Okay, les voy a dar unos minutos ahí para practicarlo y después lo vamos a decir antes de irnos. Okay, les voy a mandar a screenshot. Ahí no creo que lo practiquen individual. Sí, una... Ana, yo no lo escucho. Sí, una pregunta es. No es cousin, es cousin. Cousins. Cousin. Cousin, yeah. Ok. Este, es weather. Weather, weather. Weather, ok. Thank you, miss. You're welcome. Vaya, ahí lo tienen. Ustedes les doy para que practiquen.
Ok, bueno, creo que lo vamos a terminar de practicar con Thomas Felix Practice in Next Class, because time is up already, ya se acabó el tiempo. So, ¿qué vamos a hacer? Um, remember que tienen que trabajar en la plataforma, así que si ya tienen acceso a la plataforma, por favor, trabajemos, porque necesita estar completa la Section 1 y la Section 2, ok, para esta semana, o sea, si es posible para mañana. Y eh, creo que nos veríamos. Let me, let me start doing this. <coughs> Con ustedes me veo de nuevo el November 4th, 4 de noviembre, ¿verdad? November 4th, luego solo esta clase tenemos, tenemos después dos clases, una y dos, ¿ok? So, I will see you again on November 4th, ojalá ya tengamos más compañeros aquí, por favor, díganles que se conecten, porque um, ya van two clases, ¿ok? Yes? Ok, have a good uh, rest of the weekend y que les vaya bien en su trabajo, ¿ok? Bye, bye, take care, bye. Nice to see you, nice to meet you.